Welcome back to the channel. Today I am joined by Dr. John Yu. Everyone, everyone, <laughs> warm welcome. <laughs> let's go, let's do it. Welcome so, to New York City, bro. So today we are going to be reacting to TikTok videos. Dental TikTok videos. Well, okay, what's the objective here? Are we trying to teach dentistry? Or are we trying to like fact check? You know, I do like to make my videos a little bit educational. So we can throw in like a dental fact here okay. or there. You Got know, it. if there's something that's really wrong yeah. in the video, then call out the video. If there's something we really love, then nail that as well. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Okay. Charter alert. Uh, I love oh these. my I love god. It, it's like pimple Keep popping going. of dentistry. Exactly. So satisfying. Yeah. Oh man, I love these videos. I love doing it too. There's no way you've had this much calculation. Not before, that right? much, but I've had some teenage patients. Yeah. Who had a lot of buildup. Mm hmm. And it's an opportunity for them to get a fresh start for sure. Oh yeah. The thing is, it doesn't hurt unless you're doing scaling and root planing, which is the the very deep version yeah. of it. It's called deep cleaning. But um. Yeah, this is very satisfying to me. Oh yeah. Have you had patients like that? I actually have, yeah. Yeah, yeah being at um, adult dental school, adult patients. if they haven't been in the dentist's office for a few years, yeah. and especially on the, what we call the lower lingual anteriors, which is like the bottom teeth on the tongue side, because a bunch of saliva pools there, and mm -hmm. the saliva has a lot of factors in it, such as calcium that just likes to deposit there and hold on to the teeth. Yeah, Those, that's a hot spot. You want Hey, Richard. Mm -hmm. You know him? Yeah. <laughs> I love his acting. <laughs> so funny. I oh, love, he's he... so funny. I love him. I love it. Hey, Richard. What's good? He's such a clown. No, he's a funny guy. Yeah. And this is so true. Yo, you like, wouldn't believe the stuff I heard in the clinic in dental school, man. Oh, yeah. Because people, they're so siloed into providing the clinical care. They'll say some crazy stuff in front of the patient when they're talking to the professor like, Hey doc, I've never done this before. I think, oh, I'm like, no, don't say that in front of the patient, man. Yeah. Like, you gonna need to gain a trust, a level of trust with your patient. You, you ever catch someone doing that? Yo, yeah. I definitely think that some conversations should be private. And oh wait, when we say first time, yeah. like, let's say first time injecting, we have practiced and studied and right. went over how to inject. It's not like actually <laughs> our very first time oh, holding point. a needle. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, fine, fine. Yeah, I don't want to scare like people out there. <laughs> Your patient roster is going to drop. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Okay, we, we study everything in theory. We practice on each other. Yes. But providing patient care. Yes. There's always going to be a first patient. Yes, exactly. But a lot of times that, have gone, that has gone smoothly, correct? Yeah, of course. Oh. Yeah, you always hope so. This can definitely be stressful. We don't use that in office anymore. Actually, a lot of offices are on digital. You guys yeah. use it in dental school, right? Yeah, yeah, we still do, like, take impressions like this. But I'm sure that you have all, like, the 3D scanners. Yeah, we don't use, we don't even carry alginate. So the purple stuff is called alginate. It's the purple goop. And it takes molds of your mouth. Mixing is actually, it's not fun. It's not that hard, but it's not that fun. You don't think it's a little bit satisfying? I don't care for it, man. Yeah. I, I think uh, mm -hmm. there's much cleaner ways to make yeah. impressions. Yeah. yeah, you save your, your, you know, your wrist strength for, for other things. Yeah. <laughs> I want to share with you something that I use on a daily basis and is an integral part of my health routine. Supplements. I've talked about care of in a previous video. There are three main reasons I like care of. Number one, it's personalized. As it should, your health journey is different from mine or it's different from your friends. The supplements that you're getting should be based on your goals, your lifestyle, your diet. And that's what care of's quiz accomplishes. Number two, it's based on the latest in research. I find it really cool that there's a supplement company that is asking you, are you willing to try new things? Are you a bit more conservative about what you're taking? It's not just spitting out generic ingredients that you're gonna find in your multivitamin. And number three, it's convenient. It gets shipped to your door every month. It's kind of like having your own supplement coach teaching you based off your goals. Feel free to try out the quiz using my link and get 50% off your first personalized order using my code. I hope this helps in your health journey. Now back to the show.
Ah, ah, okay. You can go ahead and explain what's happening here. You okay, didn't know I... that your teeth are floating? That's not a real tooth. Yeah. What is it called? It's called a pontic. It's a fake tooth. Yeah. It's a pontic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang. So it doesn't have uh, anything underneath it. If you have an implant, you can't do that either. But yeah, cool magic trick. You just fill the gap in with a fake tooth. Beauty. Every dentist's dream patient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I, wait, what is... I just saw her last week. Oh, actually? Bigger now? Oh, wow. I love her. The cheeks are so chubby. <laughs> She's a really good patient. She didn't cry yeah. last week either. She's the cutest. I love her hair. <laughs> Is that fluoride? Yeah. I love it, like, with babies and, like, little kids. Sometimes if a kid falls and you're like, oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, they'll, like, start they, crying. Right, right, right. But, but then, then, yeah, if they fall and then you're like, ah, that's okay, come on. They ah. start laughing. Like, like, ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they take a lot of cues from the environment. Yeah. She's, so, she's such a good patient that she didn't cry. That's uh, actually not common for... Uh, almost one year old to not cry. Right. But it happens. Cool. If it if they cry, that's also normal. Yeah. We call it age appropriate behavior. Uh, just, like, this is so cute though. I didn't do it! Okay. Everybody just calm down. I am okay. Count of three. <laughs> We're all gonna put down our guns. I have crossbows. I love it when the whole team goes all out. Put down yeah. our weaponry. <laughs> yeah, they got everyone in this. Yeah! That, yeah. <laughs> Double booking, what does that mean? It's usually the, at the fault of the doctor. Unfortunately, it does happen, and it's when you book two patients in the exact same time slot. Actually, it's not always accidental. You know why? Because you think you can handle two patients, like two columns, is that what you mean? No, because in some offices, they expect broken appointments, so they double book with the anticipation that one might not show up. It's not good practice, what? but that's the stress of being in a high volume clinic. Yeah. We don't, we don't double, double book, but yeah. some places might have to accommodate their patients that way. Right. Because instead of sitting half an hour with a broken appointment, if both show up, you try to make it work. Yeah. That's the thing. It just gets busier. It's stressful okay. though. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Hey, do you want anything for lunch? No, I'll just drink water. Do you want any lunch? Oh, I want my own lunch. Do you want anything for lunch? Yeah, I'll have a skin cane. Okay, I'm buying lunch. Anybody want anything? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. You know, you're just like the type of person that would take your coworkers or like your assistants and like uh -huh. the whole office to lunch. Yeah, yeah it's, I love my team. We got very lucky with a very positive team culture. Yeah, absolutely. Are there times that you had to skip lunch because you were too busy? Oh, absolutely. I have a bad habit of skipping lunch no just way. to work. Yeah, that's why I lost a lot of weight Games, last year. Games, man. I know. I lost 10 pounds while I was building <laughs> Boom City. <laughs> so your building, so your, your your building was bulking up, but you were like slowing down. <laughs> yeah, because there's so much to do during lunchtime. Yeah. Even when you don't have patience. So it's a bad habit. Don't jeopardize your health for uh, for work if you can. This reminds me. There's this one time I was shadowing a dentist. And it was the first time I was shadowing him. So I went into the office. I already didn't eat breakfast because uh, I don't usually eat breakfast. Yeah. Um, intermittent fasting and all that. And it hits like 12. And I'm mm. like really hungry. And he's just like still working. <laughs> I'm just following him around. It hits one. Oh, and then no. two. And it's like 2.30. I'm like, oh. when, when do you usually go, you know, go, for, go for lunch? He's like, through. oh, I don't, I don't eat lunch. <laughs> Some Sad people don't like breakfast. eating during work. Oh, that's my, that's my bro. Oh! Yo, what's Hello. up? Hello! How's it going? Yo, John, Jack. Hi. You wanna say hi? John? <laughs> John? John, John, Jack, John. John? John Sandwich. Alright, oh, John, come in. You're gonna react to one, a video with us, okay? okay. Alright, here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what do you think that is, John? Uh, <laughs> Condom for a finger. Oh, it's oh, close! Yeah, whoa! It's close. Okay, yeah, you're. There you go. That's kind of close. There you it's go. Kind of close. John, why don't we use that? I was about to say a condom for myself, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Looks like John's cabinet. <laughs> oh my god. That's too funny. It's a barrier so that you don't contaminate other. Oh, right. Okay. Other surfaces, and you replace them. That's kind of like a condom. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I've never seen it before. I hope you guys learned some information and had a good time with us. I had a really great time. Did you have a good time, John? Oh. <laughs> I had a great time, Jack. 
Hope you all did too. Stay tuned for more dental education videos. Check out his channel here. We'll be posting it in part two. And next week, he's gonna be flying back out to New York City. Drop us a like, comment what you'd like for us to cover next. Thanks for watching.